everyone, it's Melissa, and welcome back to my channel. Have you ever had a bead or a pendant that just won't fit on a jump ring? Instead of using jump rings, why don't you try to make a bale using soft flex wire? I designed these earrings with the same technique, and I made a little bale to support my little check glass pendant. So I will show you how to create that. You will just need soft flex wire in a medium, one two by two, and our jump ring we can set aside. So cut about five inches of your soft flex wire. We have our supplies that we need. And before we start creating, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It helps my little channel grow. And I will leave a link down below in the description for the products I am using, as well as tutorials featuring these items. So we're going to take our soft flex wire. And the reason why jump rings won't fit on certain beads is because of the tip or if you're using a gemstone bead, you don't want to risk chipping or damaging your gemstone bead with a jump ring. So this is a great way to add it into a pendant or into your jewelry design. So using the soft flex wire is a great way to incorporate that special gemstone bead or bead into your design. So we have our little check glass drop, and this was part of their live sale, um, but it was also part of the turtle love kit. We're going to slide on one two by two. With our other piece of wire, we're just going to pass back through our two by two. And this is going to create a little loop. Now it's up to you how big you want your loop. But ideally, you just want to give it a little bit of wiggle room where it's not touching the tip of your bead. So once you have that, hold on to the smaller piece of wire and that larger piece of wire, we're gonna pass back through our two by two. And this is gonna create a loop. So we're just gonna pass it back through. And then we're just gonna make our adjustments. Do we have a perfect little bale or soft flex connector? We're just gonna take our pliers and give it a little smash. And this is gonna keep everything secure. Now we're just gonna trim off the little tails. We'll just take our trimmers, making sure that we're not cutting any of the wire that we need for our bale or connector. And just like that, we have created a bale or a connector for our top drilled bead. And when it's laying this way, you could just go ahead and add on your beads, your beads right on, and it's facing the right way. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed this little technique. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It helps my little channel grow. Don't forget to click down below so you can see all the items I have used in this video, as well as upcoming tutorials and past tutorials using these items. Have a wonderful day.